Books and Beer Hangout Reboot, take one. And I am Evo Terra, and this is the Books and Beer Hangout. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Books and Beer Hangout after our brief hiatus. Uh, Evo and I are changing the show up a little bit. We're going to do 15 minutes of content and then 15 minutes of hangover and kind of shorten things up a little bit and make it more concise. And our topic today is creating ebooks with caliber. My name is Jeff Moriarty and I recently suffered a big bout of wrestling ebooks with caliber, so I thought I would share my pain and wisdom such as it is with all of you. So and my partner Evo Terra being new to the world of Damn it, I forgot that. We talk about the beer we're drinking. Oh yes, the beer, an important part of books and beer. So I have one of the worst looking labels on a beer that I have ever beheld. It is the spicy pumpkin ale. Mm. Looks like I mean it's not quite comic sans, but it's close. Pretty Indian, terrible. Indian Wells Brewing. Cheap cheesy. Look like them. And a uh, uh, rather spicy, pretty tasty little ale. So I'm glad this is the last of my pumpkin ales because I am about damn sick. Of pumpkin. <laughs> I had a lot of them; they were very good. But moving on. What'd you I mean? understand. Uh, Stone 16th anniversary IPA. Uh, figuring I'm selling, celebrating the anniversary of not having to drink beer every single day, five to six times a day, because the beer and sausage diet is officially over since it's November the first. And uh, but I still like the beer, and I'll still drink the beer. Okay, enough of the beer. Let's get back to the books and stuff, Jeff. So, Caliber, you've been through it. You had a blast doing it. Um, for the indie author out there who's doing his or her very first ebook, we definitely recommend it. It's part of uh, some of the software we recommend in one of the classes we teach at ePublish Unum. Um, tell us about it. Give us a quick rundown of the process. Uh, how, how does the whole thing work? The whole whole thing. Uh, okay, well, let me start with Caliber itself and what it's intended to be. You know, technically, Caliber is a fully functioning ebook management software. It'll manage the ebooks directly on and off your devices. It can manage a library. It can pull in all kinds of free content. It can find new covers for you. It has an enormous host of features. However, one of the features that it's best known for is its ability to convert between different formats. You buy a book in format A, you want it in format B, Caliber is your handy way to do that and possibly if there are some <laughs> issues then maybe it can help you in that department as well. Um, but all we're going to be talking about here is just that conversion uh, piece of it. So there's a whole lot that's going to fly by that I'm not even going to cover. But if you want to use that conversion, you start, or at least um, I'm going to start where most people start, and that is with an original document in Word. Now, this is a uh, it's called the Cake Pan Manuscript, which is a series of blogs that uh, a bunch of us wrote on a um, blog that I contribute to. And it looks fairly clean. It's uh, got an image up here, a picture of Nurse Ratched, and it's pretty straightforward text. There's nothing funny in here. Some more pictures as you scroll along. Doesn't look like anything impressive. However, if I tried to import this into Caliber, one of the things I quickly learned, I would be in for a bad day. <laughs> um, it just, it, Word is full of codes and information that just really caliber will choke on they just don't belong in an ebook so the first thing I had to do is clean it up and make us a, a version that may not initially look a lot different but you'll notice that all of the text is single spaced it's all very clean it's very crisp all formatting is pretty much gone from it and all of the paragraph text if I, if I select a paragraph, you'll see up at the top under styles, um, this is normal, or the normal um, style. Um, the chapter names, this is heading one. If I wanted to make a subheading, you know, I could make heading two and three. Everything is very clearly defined. All the styles are assigned in Word, and I had to do all of this cleanup before I even thought about bringing it over to Calibre. 
So clean it up, make sure things are working, you know, you're not using fancy fonts and weirdness, make it look about as plain as you can, and use the built-in styles of Word. Got it. All right. Now, just because, you know, it would be helpful if Caliber spoke uh, Word, it does not. So you have to save this as an HTML document. And because, again, Word doesn't like to, uh, Word likes to put in all kinds of garbage of its own, you have to save only display information. So nothing, you won't be able to open this back up as a Word document again. It won't look right for a whole lot of browsers, but it's it'll be uh, uh, fat and happy for Caliber. So now I've saved this entire thing off as an HTML. And this is all pre-work that, uh, sorry, getting a little error here. This is all pre-work that I had to do before I even got to Caliber. So We're still in is, Word. Yeah, still in Word. Okay. Uh, Show's only got about a five more minutes, so when do we get to Caliber? <laughs> well, if there's a uh, um, lesson here, I think you just kind of hit on it, is that Caliber is, you've got to get a big running start to make this bad boy work. So when you finally get here, then it goes a little bit quicker and that you can say, great, I'm going to open my, my book. I'm selecting the HTML, which for long and interesting reasons comes across as a zip but once I've pulled it in here I can convert it I can select it as an uh, EPUB in the corner I can add my name as an author I'm sorry for all the typing you're hearing yeah we're probably not seeing much of that that you're doing but <clears throat> you're not seeing the conversion screen no it's still just the regular caliber screen with cake pan cleaned and that kind of stuff Hey, now we see it. All right. So apparently, when uh, amongst the other quirks, when Caliber spits off a parent child window, it doesn't show up in sharing. So um, I selected the output format as EPUB up in the corner. I selected my uh, cover. I come in here and say I want to use headings as the level one and level two headings. And I click OK. And ta-da! And we're done. You make an EPUB file, right? I make an EPUB file. Now it shows up here as EPUB, and you can click on it and open it, and I'm guessing this probably isn't showing either. I'm seeing you, actually. Really? You look nice. That's fascinating. Ta-da! So Calibre has an EPUB viewer where you mm -hmm. can then come in and see, here's all the pages, there's Nurse Ratched. Um, so it looks a lot like a Word doc right now. I mean, it doesn't look yeah. all that much different than your Word document. But now it's looking a little different because you've shrunk up the screen a little bit. So now it's kind of showing you how it might look on, on a truly on some sort of e-book reading device. Right, and you can increase the font size, and you can do all these kinds of things here to see how it would look. But to your point, it looks a lot. You've gone full circle, and it pretty much looks like that Word version because you'd stripped everything interesting out of Word before you got started. And so once you've got the EPUB file, um, that's that's the holy grail. That's what we need to to load up to to various places like Amazon can convert an EPUB file to Mobi. I know also with Calibre, you can just kick out a straight Mobi file that Amazon can use. You can load it to Barnes and Noble. You can load it to Smashwords. You can well actually you can't load it to Smashwords. Uh, you can load it to any other marketplace that takes an EPUB file, or you can even send it to your own device. You can email it to yourself. You can email it to your friends. You can sell it directly if you wanted to because you've got an EPUB file which every well most ebook readers should actually read, right? Absolutely all correct right. on all counts. So let me ask a couple of questions as we have a, just a few minutes left here of the much shortened show. So it's free. It's DRM isn't even a part of this whole thing. If people who don't like that would like this program, but, but I think free is a pretty important thing. Um, obviously there's some cleanup that needs to be done up front, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm curious for EPUB, for your your thoughts after using it for a while. Um, obviously you're a technical guy. Uh, is, is there a certain set of authors who would be scared of this process? Should somebody not use this product? If you have a lot of fancy formatting in your book, if you are really um, worried about being absolutely 100% perfect in all the format and, and technical issues in your EPUB, then I would stay away from it. It's pretty easy to learn even for non-technical people. It's kind of uh, obscure 
but once you learn the process, it's really not that difficult. Okay. But even that final version, if you run a check on it, there's going to be some things that aren't 100% perfect. And most people wouldn't notice, but if for some reason you have to be dead spot on, then you might need something a little bit uh, higher power than Caliber. So I, I know that you went through several different revisions of, of, of this tool. Um, and I, I know we got also um, a re recommendation from going afterwards, but I want to back up one little thought here. Um, you converted, I don't know how many times. What was the what was the most maddening thing? What did you either always forget or always was screwy that you had to go back and fix multiple times? Um, I, probably the single most maddening thing were the, uh, the links and the, t and the table of contents creation. Something that is so basic, having a link in a document from one place to another, I would get that all the way through to, to EPUB and it wouldn't work right at <laughs> all. It would jump to space or nothing was formatted right and I'd have to go all the way back to the beginning to fix it. Just do that. <laughs> not, not, not a fun thing. Okay, well, let's go full circle. I mean, obviously, from what you're saying right here, it doesn't sound like this is a tool that professionals actually use. Um, so what do you, what do you wish that this software would do that it's that it's not doing right now? And what do you think your better solution is? Well, I wish it had better um, error advisement. It would tell you where the problems were as it went rather than just kick out, here's an EPUB file and then you have to go somewhere else. Like I go to a program called Sigil to validate uh, and it'll run and, and find errors in it. So there's yet one more step on the back end. Right. I wish it had all of that in place. As far as another tool, Caliber is a great tool for someone just getting into it and kind of the you know getting your first ebooks out there, uh, startup, self-published author. Uh, but if you want to go uphill, then you're probably looking at paying somebody to really kind of get into the code and, and clean things up for you, or switching to an entirely different tool like Scrivener or something else that rather than using Word, which comes mm -hmm. with a lot of baggage. Right, right. So there's some options there, but we know that Sigil, oh, excuse me, that we know that Calibre gets used by a lot of people and a lot of people are thinking about doing it. So I think your advice is use it, um, but make sure that you understand garbage in, garbage out. Uh, and then even after you've got it nice and clean, you're probably still not done. You'll need to use a program like Sigil to get it as, as clean as, as best you can or throw out the cash and pay someone to do this for you. Yes? Well surmised, thank you. Sounds like solid advice. So that'll wrap us up here on this new truncated version of the Books and Beer Hangout. Jeff and I do this on Thursday nights at 6 o'clock. It also goes out simulcast on YouTube Live, so you may check it out there as well. And all the notes we talked about, links to Sigil and Caliber, and maybe even some places where you can find some pro help on this will be available at our website at booksandbeer.com. For more information, education, and insight into the world of being a digital author, please check out epublishunum.com. For Jeff Moriarty, I'm Evo Terra. Thanks for watching.